circle. Waffle stayed in the pen. Waffle, did you stay in? Toonie, do you like your new friends? Just wants breakfast. Well, he did not like to be in there. He kept coming out last night, so happy to see he's still in there. All right, girlies, we ready? I think we're gonna do one more day out in the backyard. I think what we've realized is whatever this is, they don't like and they don't wanna eat it. So we're probably just gonna have to get in here with the mower and just mow it all down, which is fine. It needs to let the grass that's underneath grow through because the boys have been so excited out with Timmy. All right, we're going out in the backyard today. Had to wait a minute. Had to wait a minute to have some breakfast, had me. Yes, are you a good girl? You're so pretty in your red collar. Hi, baby. Hi, my big boy and girl. Hi, my big baby. How are ya? And I'm already completely swept through. I'm like swept the barn up a little bit and just drenched. It's like pork chop saying not this pickle. This is always what is going on in the barn while I'm milking. Hank is not here every morning. No, you're not. Shrubby's usually here. She's usually asleep on the table. Here's the polar bear. Yes. Are you the polar bear? Mom's talking about me. It's embarrassing. Poppy and a Tinkerbell in here. Eating some of this stuff. I don't know. Bunny's checking it out in there. All right, ladies. How to let the babies out. You ready? I know. Here we go. Good morning. Good morning. I kind of like that you guys just want some scratches in the morning. Oh, there we go. Somebody's getting some milk for the first time in a couple of days. Hi, Cheeto. I'm a precious girl. I don't know. Mom needs to get a move on today. Doesn't she? It's just enjoying you guys. We've only got a couple more weeks to just hang out. 
So today is part three of our introduction series that we've been doing. Today we're gonna to talk about when we first moved up to Northwest Arkansas and kind of continue the story for you guys. We've worked out. There's grain in three different bowls, and I love that the calves are the ones that really need it, and can't figure it out. Four years into grad school, in my fifth year, I had to take an internship. You're supposed to go through this portal and apply to a bunch of different places and hope that you get accepted. That was not really what I wanted to do because that would have involved moving for a year to take an internship somewhere. And I was married, and I wasn't really interested in moving away from my husband for a year, and I wasn't really interested in moving him somewhere for a year uh, for an intern salary. My other option was, try, was to try to put together something that would work locally, and I managed to do that. And then in June, I got a phone call that the director of that program that was gonna supervise me had moved on, and so that left me without an internship, and so then I was scrambling to put something together. I put together an internship up here, and my in-laws lived here, and it was very strange. So my father-in-law had been retired for a few years, decided he wanted to go back to work. He took a job in Little Rock, and I took a job up here. So I lived with my mother-in-law, and he lived with Jeremy in Little Rock for about three months. gonna have to spread these bowls out a little bit further. I think that worked. He stayed at his bowl, but these two could not figure it out. And he'll chase everybody off. But Bean and Luke are pretty used to him, and so they know to kind of give him some space. The cows could knock him to kingdom come, but... I lived with my mother-in-law from September to early December, and my father-in-law lived with Jeremy, and we went back and forth over the weekends, and it was very crazy. <laughs> but I took an internship that was half paid, half unpaid, so I worked for two different places. It ended up being a great experience for me, even though how we got there was kind of crazy. Let's see if we can wrestle up the girls. They are out in the shade. Gobble, princess! Breakfast! Breakfast! Come have breakfast! They're not interested in coming out of the shade. Don't blame them, it's hot. They have been so happy to be out here and eat all this tall grass. So we did that for three months and it, I loved my internship and opportunity that I had. And eventually, Jeremy had been applying for jobs from September forward ever since we decided since I moved up here, it was really where we decided we wanted it to be. So in December, he got a job at a local manufacturing company. Really good fit. For him and for us, to kind of go into private business, and it worked out really well. Right here, right here, flip. She'll figure it out. He took that job in December. He moved up here. We rented a house for the first time. Loved that. Really hated mowing and landscaping and a rental. We bought a little push mower. And we lived in a neighborhood and a house. It's actually bigger than our house now. But it was great. We really loved just like living not in an apartment for the first time. I did my internship year. 
And I really wanted to get a job with the school that I was working for because that was the goal the whole time was to be able to uh, work for a school here in Northwest Arkansas. It's the best school district in the state and I really wanted to drop there. But because I only worked there two days a week, and they had a full-time intern. They ended up hiring the full-time intern actually before they even asked me if I wanted a job. They had two openings and so when I applied for the second opening, they were basically like, we didn't think you would want to work here. Psychologists don't work in the schools. Because I was a PhD, they thought that I would take a job with my paid internship site. And so that was really disappointing because I really wanted that job and I was just heartbroken. My sister-in-law saw uh, something on the news and was like, hey, so-and-so district is hiring and so applied and I went and interviewed and I never thought I was gonna get this job guys ever I love the two ladies that I work for but I did not get that vibe from them when I interviewed they called me about a week later and said hey do you still want this job we'd love to hire you and it was like what and I can distinctly remember my current boss being like are you sure you want this job and I was like yes I do but I was just so floored that they were gonna hire me I took this different job. This school district was quite a ways from where we lived. And so we started talking about, are we gonna renew our lease on our house? And the thought was no. So we decided to buy a house. Well, that was our first breakfast together. I think that's going pretty well. We'll bring both piggies some milk. Kitty's fed. So we decided that we would like some space and from our neighbors. And it's a funny story in that some one of Jeremy's brothers was gonna buy a farm and there was too much land. And we thought, well, we'll buy the other half of the land and build a house. And that was kind of how everything got started. And then they ended up not doing that. But that kind of switched us from looking at houses and neighborhoods that have bigger yards into living kind of out a little bit. And then I got like really obsessed with that one and some goats. <laughs> and my father-in-law really wanted some chickens. And we were like, well, we have chickens. I really wanted some goats. I don't even know why I got into the whole, like I want some goats, but we had seen this place for sale, but it was way out of our price range. But by the time we wait, we had looked at several different places. They had come down on the price quite a bit. We were looking for like 15 to 1800 square foot house on like five acres. That's pretty impossible to find around here. You could find a 2400 square foot house on five acres in the middle of the lot or in this situation, a tiny house on a lot of land or an older house and neither of us really wanted to buy like a really older house either. So it took a lot of finagling. We ended up with this place, which was way more land than we wanted and a smaller house. But we kind of erred on the side of wanting a smaller house and more land. You look like Hank. Do not act like him. There you go. I'm gonna buy some. This place was a goat farm. It had been a dairy farm. The whole, this whole side of the road had been a dairy farm, then it was a cattle farm, then it was a goat farm. And so it was very much set up for goats, which was great, but it was a dump. So the house was brand new, but everything else was 20, 25 years old. And the people that had owned it, one of them had gotten like terminally ill, and so they had stopped taking care of it. And so that was kind of where the adventure for this place began. Again, like we talked about, we didn't have any experience with farming, but that was kind of, we wanted some chickens and some goats. 
that. If you have some follow-up questions, leave them in the comments. We have one more video to do in this series and it'll be next Monday. We'll kind of finish up telling you our journey with this place and how we've gotten here with the animals that we have. So now let's figure out how to give two pigs milk. Just put it in your little bowl. Yeah, it's easier to drink in your is such a mess. He's so funny. Two things with this move. This grass is a little bit out of hand. This pasture needs rest, especially now that I added, I added an additional animal to it today. And we're gonna save feed. Pork chop and the boy goats do not need to be fed in the evenings, but these two calves do. Not gonna hurt these two heifers. So we'll be able to feed cows cow food, limit the intake for the goat and the pig, Everybody gets the right nutrition. Everybody's rotated, pasture's getting rest. Awesome. I feel a little Justin Rhodesy today. All right, buddies. Mom came to say night-night to the pig and the, the little goats. We say night-night to the pigs and the little goats. Say night-night to the pig. Night-night to the pig. Night, Waffles. Good night, Link. I'm not gonna stand here too long because he'll come through the, fence, through the fence to me. Yeah, you will. All right, buddies. No dinner. No dinner. They actually got some to eat earlier. So they don't need anything else. And they're kind of chunky. Like, look at this. They're kind of fit. You, you may need to lose some weight before breeding season here, guys. All right, night big pig. Yeah, all your fans needed to say night night to you, buddy. We did. Yes, night night pig. Okay, let's feed the monsters first because you guys don't like for me to feed the kitties before you. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know what was on me. Spider or something, I don't know. Hope 
you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell so that you know every time we put out a new video. We appreciate all of you who have joined us recently and everybody that likes and comments and subscribes. You guys are awesome. And we'll see you guys later.